I'm Mindy Lockard, and today on Market of Choice Gracious Kitchen, we are making mini snowman meatloafs. That's a cool activity for kids and delicious dinner all in one. Today I'm joined by my sister Becky because it wouldn't be the holidays without her by my side in the kitchen and because a few weeks ago she made the best slow cooker mashed potatoes. I think I had four helpings. You did have four helpings. They were that good. You're welcome. <laughs> and because our recipe for mini snowman meatloafs calls for mashed potatoes, Becky's here to share the recipe. Let's get started. This recipe calls for eight to 10 medium to large gold potatoes or 16 small. Rinse, peel, and quarter the potatoes. You can leave the skin on if you like more texture. So does it matter what kind of potatoes you use? No, you can use any type of potato. I prefer a gold potato, they're more creamy. Place the potatoes in a slow cooker on low for two and a half to three hours with two cups of water. When your potatoes are fork tender, drain the water and add half a cup butter, a quarter cup heavy whipping cream, a quarter cup sour cream, one and a half teaspoons Lowry's seasoned salt, one teaspoon garlic salt, and salt and pepper to taste. Using an electric can mixer, beat on low until the potatoes are a desired texture. For this recipe, we like them smooth, like snow. Now for the mini meatloafs. You can make these in the morning or a few days in advance and reheat, or pop them in the oven about 25 minutes before you're ready to make the snowman. You can use a favorite family meatloaf recipe or to ease the holiday crazies, which we're all trying to do, swing by the Market of Choice meat department and pick up two pounds of their pre-made meatloaf. With clean hands, make large meatloaf balls and place one in each of the cups of a muffin tin. Spread ketchup over the top, pop in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees. You're going to want to let your meatloaf cool for about five minutes before you make your snowman. Here's where the kids come in, but since our kids aren't here, Aunt Becky and I get to have all the fun decorating our snowman. Spread the mashed potatoes on the meatloaf. This makes a snow for our snowman. And now for the face. Add olives for the eyes and mouth and a carrot for the nose. And what's better than meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes in the shape of a snowman. Your kids are gonna love them. For more family-friendly, gracious kitchen recipes, visit the blog at marketofchoice.com because remember, the best place to connect with our kids is in the car and the kitchen.